It's my last evening in Seoul. Today I went to Seoul Forest, which is a kind of park. What do you call a deer with no eyes? No idea. There's another very big slide, just like uh, in Japan. Not quite as big, but looks like you can get off there pretty fast. So I'm gonna give it a go. stations all have numbers. But the map is crazy complicated. That's a little tune to, to tell you that the train's right. Otherwise the train is really quiet. You feel like you don't want to make any sound at all. Most of, the most of the stations have these little subways with markets. You can buy all sorts of stuff, shoes and um, mobile phone stuff. And girly skincare products, which is great. Stations can be really busy, especially in winter when everyone's wearing giant coats. Ordered some spicy chips. And uh, today's book is Coraline. So let's have a look at that. This is Coraline by Neil Gaiman and it is illustrated by Chris Riddle. This is a really, really good book, but it is quite creepy, very creepy actually. If you are easily scared by the things that you read, then I don't suggest that you read Coraline. It concerns a young girl, Coraline, who moves into a new house. In fact, the house is shared by a number of people, so they live in individual flats in this big old house. And um, she discovers a door to... Well, apparently the door leads nowhere, but... Um, when she goes down there by herself, she finds it. it she she's taken to this sort of other reality, like like a different version of her own life, and with what you might call her other mother and her other father. It's very strange, and I would say that most of the story is about her figuring out who this other mother is and making a choice whether to stay with her but that means having buttons instead of eyes um, or returning to her to her, her, 
her normal mother and father who are not quite as much fun. So I talked about Coraline in one of my very, very first videos, which was Five Scary Movies. Um, and I talked about the movie version. But this is the first time that I've read and talked about the book version. It's a little bit different from the movie. I would say that the movie spends a bit longer showing us how Coraline is bored with the place that she lives. There's also a little boy who lives next door um, that is in the movie but not in the book. Um, the, but on the other hand, the movie is much less creepy than the book. The book is very much, you know, the book is going to make you feel pretty scared, I think. Um, if you do like books that are a bit sort of creepy or scary, then I really recommend Coraline to you. And I know that Neil Gaiman has written some other children's books. Um, if you're not so keen, then maybe give it a miss. But I really, really enjoyed this book. It's excellent. <laughs> 